What's going on YouTube world? I uh, wanted to shoot another clip of the swap and how it's going and give you guys an update. So let's get to it. What we're going to be doing today is pretty much resealing the engine. Uh, we're going to install a new uh, front crank seal, valve cover gaskets, intake manifold gaskets. It's going to get a Holly oil pan because um, of the clearance issues with this factory truck oil pan. Okay, that's not here yet. Should be here within the next couple days. And we're also gonna be doing a rear crankshaft seal. And I got all my seals right here. Seals, seals, and spark plugs. I want to show you guys this. We got the valve cover off. And it actually looks nice and clean. We did run a compression test on this engine uh, once we got it back. It's also one we picked up at a junkyard. Uh, we got it home, ran a compression test on it, and um, it had compression on all cylinders, so we were gonna go ahead and use it. We did pick it up or from a vehicle that was crashed, and usually that tells us that uh, the vehicle engine and transmission are in good shape, just the body got damaged and wound up at the junkyard. So, enjoy the video. We got the engine cleaned up pretty well. Got our seals on. Again, the rear main seal is done. Got new spark plugs in it. Cleaned up the surfaces for the exhaust manifold, intake manifold. Uh, put brand new valve cover gaskets in there. Uh, did a new crank seal. Can't really see it in there, but it's in there. Like I had mentioned before, we're going to change out the oil pan as well. And uh, we're ready to start mating this to the transmission. The only thing we're doing is uh, we had a broken stud. We drilled it and we're about to extract it. So we're just going to finish that extraction and then we'll be able to come over here and mate it to this tranny. And then start to uh, do some test fits on the engine and see if we can't get it into the, the truck. All right, so we had a successful extraction. We were able to get that bolt out, show you. Boom. Not too bad. So now we're gonna get ready to mate the engine and transmission and uh, start to test fit the engine and transmission into the truck and see what we need to do to make it all work.
Yeah, son todos iguales. But I wanted to tell you guys, uh, you know, you guys need to uh, smash that like button if you guys like what you're seeing. If you guys want to see more, it'll def definitely help us uh, grow the channel. We're a new channel and uh, we want to keep making these videos uh, and, you know, we're just looking for some support. So, again, if you like what you're seeing, smash the like button, subscribe. is isn't going to cost you anything, but a click on the mouse. So. Go ahead and do us all a favor. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. So I just want to show you guys the difference in these oil pans. It's uh, pretty drastic. Let's take a look. Look at that. That is so much lower. I mean, no wonder it needs a, a lower profile oil pan to be able to fit inside that S10. But this Holly one, um, I mean, it's really low, uh, so, or short, to be able to fit. So hopefully, now this bad boy will slide right in and we'll be able to continue making progress. We got the oil pan put on, looks nice and clean. Got that transmission all set. We figured out um, the torque converter issue. Went ahead and did like a brand new torque converter. Let's see. Let's see it in there. New bolts. And we already tried to set the engine in but it still wouldn't go in. So we had to kind of uh, try to bend it in right here with the hammer and then on this end as well uh, because the pan was hitting on the edges on the bottom corners and still wouldn't go in. I also took off this um, uh, evaporator cover because I've been told or from research, I've seen that they make like a lower profile one i don't have one so um took it off seeing if now we'll be able to get the engine in so let's give her a shot I, I've already seen it that people have smashed it in to get it to fit. Alright, this again. 
Hasta arriba. Yes, we were able to get the engine in after some muscle and some persuasion. It actually slid in. It was a really tight fit, but we got it. We're going to leave it right there for now.